Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for USTAT Tennis. In this tutorial we'll be covering the Analyze area of the app, which is where you go to analyze and generate reports for your previously recorded matches. Let's uh, go ahead and launch the app. And we'll switch over to the Analyze area. The most important thing to realize when analyzing stats is the difference between the calculator buttons that you see here and the arrow button. Uh, one of the most powerful features of USTAT Tennis is the ability to aggregate data or to analyze it uh, cumulatively uh, for an entire season or a match or a tournament or versus a particular opponent. Uh, you can group and analyze data uh, via a number of criteria like, like that. Uh, the data is organized in a hierarchy. At the very bottom of that hierarchy is an individual game within a match. And then one level up would be a set, and then a match, and then uh, and so forth. The very top of the hierarchy is your entire career for a player or a you know, doubles team. Uh, so for the purposes of this demo, we'll use uh, the sample player Susan Serve here. Uh, at the top of the analyze area, we're at the career level of the hierarchy. So if we were to analyze stats here, uh, we would be analyzing for the entire career for Susan Serve, which we would do by tapping the calculator button. And now we're looking at a list of all of the available stats that we can look at at the career level for Susan Serve. Uh, go back. Now, uh, the arrow button will drill down into the next level of the hierarchy. So let's uh, tap the arrow button. And now we're inside the career for uh, Susan Serve. We can look at uh, the seasons that make up her career, uh, tournaments that she played. Uh, we can look at individual, by individual match and, and so forth. So if we drill into seasons, uh, so we see that so far she's played in one season, the 2012 season. And again, if I tap the calculator here, I'm getting stats cumulatively for the entire 2012 season. If I drill down further, I can now look at tournaments and matches within that season. Uh, let's uh, look at tournaments. Evidently, she played in a tournament called Racket Fest. And again, if I hit, tap the calculator here, I'm getting cumulative stats for that entire tournament. Uh, if I hit the arrow, I drill down and I see that uh, there are two, it was a two day tour with tournament, evidently. So we can uh, look at stats day one or day two. If I drill down into day one, I can. Uh, now see all the matches on day one of the tournament. Looks like there's only one match here. If I drill down on the match, I'm now into the sets of that match. It was a single set match. If I drill down into the set, I see all of the individual games uh, within that set. And at this point, there's no more uh, drill down arrows because we're at the very bottom of the hierarchy. And you can move back up through the hierarchy to any level. Let's come all the way back up uh, to here. Uh, you see there's a special row there for last match, which is just kind of a shortcut to immediately uh, analyze stats for the most recently recorded match. If you were in the middle of recording a match, there would be an additional row called current match, which is a shortcut to the match that's currently being played so that if you have the pro or the elite versions of the app, you can analyze your stats and stats in real time in the match. Uh, let's uh, go into advanced. Uh, this is kind of a special area which allows you to uh, aggregate or analyze stats by a, a number of criteria that aren't necessarily in the typical match set game hierarchy. <clears throat> so although these aren't in that same hierarchy, they can be aggregated in the same way. So we can uh, analyze by date is played on two different dates here. We can analyze by surface. It looks like she's only played on a hard blue court. We can analyze by opponent. There's been two different opponents. So again, if I tap the calculator here, I'm getting uh, cumulative stats for all the matches I've played against that uh, opponent for the, her entire career. If I can drill down and see the individual matches played against that opponent and so on. Uh, same thing for location location, uh, or league, uh, you can track league versus non-league matches, home versus away, and, and so forth. 
it's a, again a very powerful feature. Now analyzing by these advanced criteria is part of the uh, pro version of the app. Uh, let's go in uh, to the last match and now we'll, we'll analyze that last match and look at some of the categories and reports available. Uh, you can see that the categories are divided into a number of areas overall general time-based service return and rally. And the overall section, the summary report, is a high-level summary containing the most uh, commonly viewed stats in kind of a short single screen format. It is the same report that's available directly uh, within the stat recording interface for real-time analysis during the match uh, if you have the pro version. The all categories report contains a single report with all of the stats. Everything you see in the left-hand menu there is all in one consolidated report. It can be convenient to look at everything at once, but the report can uh, take a long time to generate uh, just because there's so much data there. Uh, results gives you box scores for all of the individual matches uh, in the level of the hierarchy that you're looking at. So in this case, we're looking at an individual match, so there'll be only one box score there. If I was looking at the season, it would show a list of all of the match result box scores for the entire season. Uh, scoring gives me some win-loss record type of information, uh, winning percentage, winning point ratios, and so forth, uh, total and average set scores, which is uh, kind of a useful margin of victory statistic. The time-based uh, category, these are more, may or may not be immensely useful stats, but they're, uh, they can be interesting nonetheless. It uh, shows you the average length of your matches, sets, games, and individual points. Again, if, if we were looking at a season, that would be the average duration of your points for an entire season. Uh, if I was looking at an individual set, it would be just for that set. Uh, also, time to serve. How long does it take you between point transitions or your opponent between point transitions to serve? Uh, just kind of fun stats you know, to, to play around with. Playing time is uh, total time you spent on court. Again, we're looking at a match, so it's the total time for that match, but it could be a season or for your entire career. Uh, total play, matches, sets, games, and points, total that you played. Uh, the next uh, three areas are the kind of main skill-based areas, service, return, and rally. Let's go into uh, service. I'll note here that uh, because we're looking at the sample data, uh, this isn't from a, a real match, so stats may be a little nonsensical in places, but you'll, you'll get an idea. So we're looking at the uh, service aces report, which shows us the uh, average aces per game, uh, shows us our aces on first serve versus second serve, our aces by service court, add court versus reduce court, uh, as well as side of court, which is left side or right side. Again. Uh, some of these are a little esoteric, may or may not be immensely useful, but it shows you the uh, power of the, the data engine behind the stats here. Uh, similar for winners, we can look at our uh, service winners by first serve, second serve, service court, side of court. Uh, errors, which is our uh, service percentage as well. Uh, serving here in service percentage on first serve second serve, service court, side of court, number of double faults, and for your errors, how are they distributed between nets, outs, lets, and other faults, and so forth. Uh, some stats on service breaks. Of your service games, how many games did you hold? How many were you broken? Uh, of your break point, uh, possible break points against the opponent, what was your conversion percentage? single break points, double, triple break points, uh, etc. And then for return to serve, uh, stats here are, there's a uh, distinguish between return to serve versus rally. You consider rally everything after that uh, is return to serve, just so you can uh, zero in and then analyze the return component separately. 
So how many return winners do we have off of first serve versus the second serve in service by service court, by side of court? Also, forehand versus backhand. If you were recording forehand and backhand um, stats, then you'll see them here. If you weren't, then they'll just show up in the middle kind of a generic column, which is uh, labeled with a question mark. Forced errors on uh, service return. Same kind of category as well as error distribution. Of your errors, how many were out versus into the net. And uh, same thing for return on forced errors. Uh, rallies, again, very similar to return, except uh, these are now all of the shots uh, after the return serve. You can see uh, that it's broken down by shot type, volley, approach, pass, slice, etc. If you weren't recording those specific stats, they'll just be blank here. But if you were, they would be filled in. And you can analyze uh, that by side of chords and also, again, forehand, backhand. Rally forced errors, unforced errors, and then also a rally length. Now, this is an interesting one that shows you your uh, average length of rally, uh, as well as how many were didn't go any additional shots, one shot, all the way up to 20 plus shots. The average length by number of shots, as well as by time, uh, which is in rally depth stat to look at. Also shows you your longest rally in shots and in time, uh, which in this case would be just a match, or if you're looking at your career, it would be the longest rally for your entire career. In this case, you'll see that the season serve has a little bit of a nonsensical value there, if you're looking at uh, just sample plus data. But I think you get the idea there. Uh, so, now that you have these reports, you can look at them obviously on the iPad here, but what if you wanted to send them to someone else, uh, coach, member of the media, uh, players, uh, etc. To do that, all you do is uh, pick a report you want to look at, so let's look at the scoring report. Tap the action button in the upper right, which is uh, again a button that's used consistently throughout the app to mean exporting. We have three options for the export kit. We can send this report as a PDF, as HTML or CSV. PDF uh, is great for viewing and also for printing. The PDFs are fully paginated, titled, and uh, they work great for printing. And can be opened in Adobe Acrobat or Apple's Preview app. Uh, HTML is good for, uh, also good for viewing. Uh, it's good if you want to upload it to a website or a blog or some place place that you need formatted HTML content. Uh, CSV is a plain text format. It can be opened by spreadsheet uh, apps like Microsoft Excel or Apple's iWork Numbers. So you have quite a few options there. And uh, for both PDF and HTML, uh, your reports will look pretty much identical to what you see on screen. Uh, let's actually pick a smaller report, so it'll be a single page, so that you can uh, see it directly with your email. Let's uh, look. That one. We'll email as a PDF. Uh, you'll notice that there's our report. looks pretty much like it did on screen. It's also attached as a file attachment to the email. You just uh, tap in my destination. The way it goes. The recipient will receive a copy of the report looking exactly like what you will see here. And that's about all there is uh, to analysis. Uh, there's one additional uh, note if you're running a doubles match or analyzing a doubles match. Uh, at in the category level here at the very top, you would see the two players making up the doubles team. So you can look at stats for the team as a whole, or you can look at stats for each player individually on the team. So that's a pretty uh, powerful feature for doubles analysis. Other than that, analyzing for doubles versus singles is identical. And uh, that's analysis in USTAT Tennis. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us at support at